evening to everybody who's listening to us via the World Wide Web. Those of you on YouTube, those of you on Facebook, and those of you who are listening to us on national radio, welcome once again to Iowa Stage, where we are here with the Baptist community, and they are bringing to you the blessings from on high. So this evening, we have with us another bunch of enthusiastic, blessed people here to minister to you. Not just only the Baptist community, but people who are listening all through the diaspora and those of you who believe in Jesus Christ. This evening, we have a group with us and this gentleman is going to introduce himself and introduce the group to us this evening. So good evening, sir. Some the situation is with the pandemic situation. But God is good. He's merciful. He's wise. He does not make a mistake. And we depend upon God for all things that he has given unto us and that we request of him also. So we are about to give you some words of consolation, a short prayer, and some sin to bring joy into your heart. Wherever you may be, bless you, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, and other parts of the world this hour. We of the Spiritual Baptist Sanctuary, headed by myself, Anthony Leonard Providence, is about to start a divine service. Lead us. Heavenly Father, lead us on our tempestuous sea. Guide us, guide us, teach us, teach us, for we have.
that you create the apostle of I believe in God the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the Son of our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified and buried. He is the of the Holy Spirit. He has said that I'm a sitter and I'm a born of God of my I believe in the Holy Spirit and the Holy Church. The coming of the saints of the goodness of sins. The resurrection of the body and the life of the last sin. Amen. The Lord be with us. Amen. Lord have mercy on us. Let us have mercy on us. Let us pray. Lord, in this life.
we now offer a word of prayer. Almighty and most merciful Father, creator of the heavens and earth, we bring ourselves before you this hour. We are here to give you praise and thanks, honor and glory. You are worthy to be praised. With your God, all things are possible. It is you that made us and not we ourselves. We are your people. We are the sheep of your pastures. Help us to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and praise. Holy is your name, O oh God. It is you that deliver us, O oh God, from all harm and danger. It is you that has caused us to continue life on this earth. We bless you, God. So, my Lord. We ask you, God, as we are here, the studios of 91.9 to bless those that have caused us to be dead to deliver, deliver your word oh God to your people have mercy of God upon us teach us thy way continue to abide with us oh God oh God of oh all Blessed assurance, 
Jesus is mine. Oh, what a portrait of glory divine. Care of salvation, churches of
lesson will be taken there from Matthew 7 Mark. The ninth chapter, the forty second verse. We'll find another little one is the heading of this part of the chapter. And this was Jesus speaking. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone will hang about his neck and he will cast into the sea. And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into life maimed than having two hands to go into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched, where the worm died not, and the fire is not quenched. And if thy foot offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter halt into life than having two feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched. Where the worm died not, and the fire is not quenched. And if thy eye offend thee, pluck it out. It is better for thee to enter into life, into the kingdom of God with one eye, than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. Where the worm died not, and the fire is not quenched. For everyone shall be salted with fire, and every sacrifice shall be salted with salt. Salt is good, but if the salt have lost its saltness, wherewith will ye season it? Have salt in yourselves, and have peace one with another. In the word of God, glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I have somebody with me, I'm not alone. I have somebody with me, I'm not alone. When trials overtake me, I'm on my bed with me. I have somebody with me.
honor and glory. The lesson tells you that little children meant so much to Jesus that he said, if you hurt any of these children, it comes as if you are hurting the Son of God and even God itself. Offend not the little children, Jesus said. It is for us to take care of our children. When it is ours in our home, our neighbor's children, children in school or wherever they may be, we have that responsibility as children of the light to assist those young children coming up in this world that they may be able to walk right always. And because they are young and innocent and they may not always know the right thing to do, it is incumbent upon us, the older ones, to direct them correctly in the path wherein they should go. So many times I see children without parenting in our country. All the people are irresponsible in entreating with our children. And that is so wrong. Our children are the future. And we must guide them accordingly. Suffer little children to come, said Jesus, because such is the kingdom of heaven. Children represent humility. And it is our duty to take care of them, to help feed them when they are hungry, to help give them something to drink when they are thirsty, to help in giving them clothes to wear when they are naked. It is for not for us to scorn them, but to stretch forth our hands upon these little children. And when we do so, we are doing good unto our God, our Creator. I also remember that Jesus, after toiling with his disciples, he went down in a boat out in the sea to rest. And while they were there, the storms came. Lightning and thunder was the order of the evening. And the disciples became frightened. They were afraid. They thought that the boat was going to sink. But then they remembered that there was someone below the deck. The worker of miracles who had done so much during the day to those that he met. And they went and woke him up and brought him to the top of the ship. And when he saw the calamity of what was going on, he spoke to the wind, he spoke to the water, peace, be still. And the waters forthwith became calm and the winds were still. When we remember these things, we know that in our lives, when we are surrounded by so many negativities, God is able to deliver us from them all. So today, even until the night, and even until tomorrow, let God be our guiding factor. He is loving. He can protect us from all harm and danger. Put your trust in God. Is our message for you today. May God continue to bless us, to keep us, to bless Trinidad and Tobago, to bless our Prime Minister and members of Parliament, to bless those in our position that they will do them what is right. And most importantly, we ask God to bless, to bless and keep Mr. Graffit for encouraging us to be here tonight. 
to speak to Trinidad and Tobago and to give us that strength where weakness lies. Thank you.
We are thankful to God for life. We are thankful most of all for this group coming this evening and waking up the place and show most of the home are clapping and singing and rejoicing with us. When the saints go marching home, we want to be in that number. We want to thank you very much for being with us this evening. And we pray that God will continue to give you all the strength to continue to stand up for him. All right? And what we want you to do most of all before you close, we want you to pray for the radio station. We want you to pray for the nation. And then we will close off. All right? So just want to ask you to pray. First of all, for us here at 91.9, and then pray for our nation. Oh, Heavenly Father, we bring ourselves before you this hour, giving you praise and thanks, honor and glory. We thank you for life and breath, health and strength. We thank you for your goodness and mercy. We thank you for the opportunity to be here this evening so that we can join with Trinidad and Tobago and the rest of the world in giving praise and thanks, honor and glory to Almighty God. We thank you, Mr. Bradford. We thank you for Pastor Google. Bless this radio station of God. Let it grow from strength to strength. Of God. Let Shavon Felix in a special view of God. Let the whole of this station, O Holy Father, take charge of him, bless him, and keep him. Ah, look at his needs, O God, and suffice it to God. Because we know that with you, all things are possible. Remove all obstacles and all hindrances in the faith. Bless our worthy Prime Minister, the one who you placed in 2011 to be 2015 Prime Minister of God. And you gave us the message to go throughout Trinidad and Tobago and to preach, oh God, that gospel of truth. We thank you, God, for Trinidad and Tobago in a special way. Bless us in this pandemic situation, oh God. Let there be less deaths, oh God, be besieged, oh God. Let, oh God, the people of God listen to the words of our government and the Ministry of Health and abide, oh God, by what they are asking us to do to forestall us, oh God, from continued, oh God, death and suffering. Take charge of our little children, oh God. Bless them and keep them, oh God. Bless the people all over the world. All those that need your help, oh God, send it unto them. The beggars on the streets, the lame, the blind, all those incapacitated in any way, oh God, Send help unto them, O God, and help us in the spiritual Baptist sanctuary to continue, God, to be a beacon unto others, O God, and to help those in distress, O God, as we usually do. Amen. 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 The world here is where we leave it, is where we say good night, and we pray that God continue to richly bless all of you in Jesus' name. David was anointed with oil. And he ruled over Israel. And he ruled over Israel. And he ruled over Israel.